Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to convert from quaternions to Euler angles and vice versa. This is a very common requested uh, thing how to do that inside Python uh, because uh, the odometry usually is provided using quaternions but we as humans we cannot think of uh, orientations by based on quaternions. We need to have the Euler angles in order to understand what is actually the the represented orientation. And this is related to this question of quaternion transformations in Python that uh, we have found here at Ross Answers. I will provide a link to this question in case that you are interested. It will be below the video. So for that I'm going to use the RDS, the Ross Development Studio for solving this question and you can go there by putting rds.theconstructsim.com and today I'm going to use the simulation of the Tartelbot 3. This is a private simulation that I have installed in my, in my zone here in RDS but in case that you want to install that in your own zone I will provide a link below this video that contains a video also that shows how to install that in five minutes. It's a previous video we recorded last week. Okay, so let's go. Let's launch the Starter Bot 3 simulation. For that, I'm going to select the empty world simulation to keep it simple. So here we go. And in this case, we are not going to use the notebook, so I'm going to hide it. And here is loading the Tartarbot 3 simulation and it will appear in a few seconds. So in the meantime we are going to use of course the development environment and for that let me just start. So I'm going to uh, go here to the Catkin workspace and create a, sorry, uh, wait, Catkin workspace source and yeah, so here I'm going to create the package. And here we have, by the way, we have here the Tantabot 3 simulation. Okay, so you can see here this is the robot that we are going to use for this example. Whoop. Okay, here. So let's create a package, Catkin create package. Uh, let's call it uh, my Quaternion package that depends on Ross Pi. Great and then so it is going to appear here. Uh, here it is and then inside the source I'm going to create a file that I will call uh, quaternion to Euler dot pi and Okay, yeah, some delay in the network. Okay, done. Then let's uh, start the file with the proper configuration indicating to the system that we are going to use a Python file. Great, then the first thing is I'm going to create a node here. So for that, as always, I have to import RossPy. Then I have to also to create a node. I'm going to call it my Quaternion to Euler, for example. Great. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to subscribe to the odometry, for example. So what we are going to do is to get the odometry orientation part and then transform that into the angle, into the angles, sorry, into the Euler angles. So by doing this, we can print, for example, the jaw angle, and then we'll see this is related to the orientation that the robot has. And that's something, the, the orientation I mean in the, in, the Z, uh, in the Z axis. So by doing this, we can know in the odometry a reference frame we can know what is the current orientation of the robot related to the odometry reference frame. So let's go for creating the subscriber to the odometry 
and for that the, the topic is called odom and it's of type odometry the message that it produces and uh, let's create a callback called get rotation for example okay so this is the subscriber we have it ready for that we have to import here the uh, navigation message from navigation messages the odometry message it's not right here port uh, odometry and uh, then we need to define here the callback that it's called get rotation and receive a message of odometry great let's just by now let's print the message the message from the message we are going to print only the part that is related to the orientation quaternion so uh, because I don't remember exactly uh, how it works let me check here on the console what is the structure of the odometry message so here it is cross message show this is the command and then we see that for the orientation quaternion it is inside the pose pose orientation that's it so that's what I have to do here because I'm receiving the whole message there so I have to put pose pose dot orientation that will provide me with the orientation in quaternion terms then the next thing is that I'm going to create a loop for uh, for waiting there forever so receiving the orientation all the time until is shut down uh, here so let's uh, for example for that we'll need a, a rate let's say of one earth and by now just sleep so we have a basic program let me save it and now let's launch it uh, for launching that when we launch that what we should see is the print of the orientation that is being received through the odometry topic okay so it will print the whole quaternion and for that I'm going to do rush run because I haven't created a launch file my quaternion quaternion package then quaternion Euler okay let's go okay there it is so it is printing complete the whole quaternion all the time here okay you can see one quaternion the other one etc etc okay so far so good now what we need is to change this from printing the orientation the whole quaternion just to print for example I would like to know the orientation in the Z axis of the robot because that's the orientation of the odometry actually and what I'm interested to know about it so for that is where I am going to use that function that is provided by TF transformations you can check that in the documentation here of TF and transformations in docs.ros.org and here you can see that there is a function in this documentation that is called Euler from Quaternion here it is that is the function and what it does it receives a quaternion in the form of a list with all the values and then it produces the angles their roll pitch and yo angles okay so let's use that information here so how do we do that very simple uh, instead of printing let's put this information of the orientation quaternion in another variable for example let's call it like this and now I'm going to create my quaternion into a list format Python list so it's orientation Q dot X with all the components and then repeat that 
right, for all the components of the orientation. And as you know, a quaternion has four components. Okay, so now we have transformed the orientation quaternion received through the odometry message into an orientation list. And now we are ready to use the Euler from quaternion the Euler from quaternion function of TF transformation to convert into raw pitch and yaw. Okay, first we have to import those functions from uh, TF dot transformations import Euler from quaternion. Now we can use it here and then the result will be the raw pitch and Joe values then the call of, to the function Euler from quaternion and then the orientation list here it is and then we can for example print the Joe value that's interesting because now uh, uh, the jaw is the one that is in indicating the orientation of the robot in the z-axis. So we can see how it works. Great, so now let's launch it. And here it is. We have the z component of the orientation of the robot. Of course, the robot hasn't moved, so it's just here, and then it doesn't... Uh, have any orientation is practically zero. But so what we are going to do is to I'm, I'm going to open a new shell here so I can launch the teleop and move the robot and see how this changes. So if I press there then I get another shell and what I'm going to do is to uh, launch wait I'm going to detach that one so we can see both things at the same time. So let's put it here and Okay, Ross launch, uh, Turtlebot, bot 3, Teleop, and the Teleop key launch. Okay, so here we go, and this is the program that allows us to move the robot, the, the simulated robot here. And what I'm going to do is to just to move it, and you will see how the your value is going to change there. So. If I move forward, then the robot moves forward, but nothing changes. It is the robot. And then if I turn it, for example, to the left, then, sorry, to the right, then the, the robot uh, will e decrease the angle. Well, until it reaches uh, minus pi, of course. And then if we turn to the other side, we get the other value changing. Okay, so we got this program that transforms from uh, a quaternion to a value of the jaw directly. Now we can do, for example, the same thing. Let me close this one. We can do the same thing for uh, transforming those raw pitch and jaw into another quaternion. For example, if I create those as global variables, Okay, just to simplify, okay, this is not very well uh, software design, but we can use it for this example. So let me just define these variables as uh, global here and and here. Then I have access to those values in all the so all the code here in all the scopes so I can do what I can do is to use here in this while loop and print it it convert them into a quaternion so if I want to convert that I have to use another function that is called quaternion from Euler let me call this so quaternion from Euler of the raw, pitch, and jaw. And then, for example, we can print it. Let me close this program here. 
okay print quaternion and uh, here the, we need to import this function that pr is provided also by df transformation and there it is so we have imported the function we have declared this as global variables and we are converting back the Euler angles into a quaternion and printing it here so if we launch again the program okay there is an error roll yeah because here is not roll is roll with two L's great and save so now we launch it again there it is okay so as you can see after one second because this this loop it has a rate of one second then we receive the quaternion transform from the roll and pitch and Joe and this is the value of the Joe all the time that is published about 20 thousands per time per second because the odometry it's the odometry has a rate of 20 Hertz topic Hertz of odometry so we have a uh, sorry 100 wow so 100 Hertz okay so it's 100 times that this is uh, been it's been uh, published before we get one quaternion so about one per second okay so that's it so that's the example how to convert from quaternions to Euler angles and vice versa using this example if, if you like this video please subscribe and press the bell just to receive our notifications whenever we publish a new video we publish new videos every day containing very useful information about how to program ROS and, and specific examples so thank you very much for watching us and see you around